Now to an update to Karen Drew's investigation into broken fire hydrants all across the city of Detroit. When she first broke the story, she uncovered 1,300 broken hydrants. Tonight, though, some progress to report, and Karen is in the newsroom with what she found out today. Karen. Hey, Devin, I was touching base with some of my sources this afternoon. I've got some great news to share, and this is something Detroit residents have really been begging for, as well as firefighters. The city is making progress in fixing that broken hydrant issue. So take a look at this. It's a screen grab I got from a source today of the more than 29,000 hydrants in the city. There are 153 listed as inoperable. That's the number right there on the bottom of the screen. Now, remember, it was back in January. I uncovered 1,300 broken hydrants, and I had the firefighters contacting me, telling me this is a big issue. Remember the city responded, saying firefighters can check if a hydrant is working or not by using a city-issued iPad? Well, that got some residents really mad, saying, hey, why doesn't the city just fix the issue? Well, the city hired extra crews. I've been following the progress. January, like we said, 1,300 broken fire hydrants. February 15th, they were down to 724. Then February 28th, there was 477 inoperable hydrants. Then today, just checked March 30th, there are 153. I was talking and texting with some of my sources, and they say, you know, they're thankful that these hydrants are back up and running. Remember, a fire doubles in size approximately 35 to 45 seconds. So really, time matters huge, Devin. And, and Karen, we've got uh, a part of the city that needs more repairs than others, right? It's that southwest part of the city. We reported on it before back in the day, six weeks ago or so. There was like 43 inoperable ones just checked a few minutes ago. It's down to 31. So they made repairs, yeah. but not at the pace that we need to. So I'll stay on top of it, but it is some good news to share. It is. All right, Karen, we'll see you at 530.